back, everybody. This entire week, we are celebrating women in all spheres of life. And this morning, it is my pleasure to be chatting with a musician extraordinaire in the form of Kiwana Mahabir. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and thank you for being here. We just saw a demonstration of uh, one of your um, jam sessions, if, yes. I, if I was to call it that myself. Yes. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your background in music and in drumming specifically. Well, in drumming particularly, I, I was always getting in trouble in school for beating the desk. <laughs> a lot of drummers would say that. So uh, my dad was a drummer in church and just grew up seeing him playing drums. Right. I just fell in love with it. And yeah, I picked it up on my own. So I've been playing for about 19 years. 19 years. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you've mastered it at this point. Well, they say that uh, an eternal master is an eternal student. So I'm, I'm a student. So I'm continuously <laughs> mastering it, yes. Definitely, definitely. But um, your talent speaks for itself, as we just saw a little snippet yes. of that demo there. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we can get you back in studio at some point to yes. do a live demo. Hopefully, you know, that'd yes. be fantastic. Yeah. Um, you have a little background where you had been playing uh, drums for the Blackmans. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, in 2012, I started playing with Nehalet Blackman and the All Girls Band. We were that, that was the name of the band before. Now we are called Axia Nation, so it's an all-female gospel band. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'm the drummer for the band current, currently. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, tell us a little bit what is it like being a female musician. You know, you don't, ne you don't necessarily see many women playing the drum set, yeah. uh, for instance. So what, what is that experience like? And, you know, have you had any instances where people would question your skill just because they, 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 they're not accustomed to seeing yeah. women playing drums? Um, well, for me personally, I don't see gender when it comes to music or drumming. But I mean, there are people who do. Um, about 10 years ago, you would have probably seen less females playing right. drums. Now there are a good bit, probably unknown to some, but I do have some that I teach as well. Um, I wouldn't say that I question it. People question it, but right. I mean, generally it's music. So yeah, there's no gender. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's your experience being a female musician yeah. on the whole? Yeah female musician. On the it's whole. been an interesting experience. Um, people are intrigued sometimes by seeing a female drummer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been an interesting experience. Very um, le a learning process for sure when it comes to the music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned uh, that you teach others. Uh, yes. Do you have an academy? I do have a, a drumming academy, the Sui Generis Song, the Drumming Academy. Yeah. Started in 2016. Yes. And how has that been going? What's that journey like? Well, that has been an interesting journey. We have had hundreds of students pass through the academy, graduated, um, people from all over Trinidad and Tobago. Right. And currently we have some programs that are still running right now, yeah. Right. And uh, do you teach specifically women or do you teach... No, uh, general. Uh, yeah, we teach everybody everyone. from ages five and up. From five and up. Yes. So we have had students as old as 60 something. Really? Yes. And as young as four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That um, yeah. is so interesting that, you know, uh, it can translate from as young as four all the way up to yes, 60 something and, yeah. and even beyond. Yeah. Right. Uh, what, what is it like? Well, one, teaching, teaching somebody who is older than you. What, yeah. what is that experience like? Um, well, they come very open. So it's not as though they are older, so they are not open to hearing what I have to say. Right. Yeah, because age has nothing to do with skill. You know, because it have some younger that may have more skill, some older that may have less skill. So they are very open. And I learn a lot by teaching. So right. yeah, I've learned a lot from yeah, them. Yeah, I have some well. experience teaching myself yeah. in my own, uh, my own field. Right, and, okay. Um, I don't know, it's, it's weird how sometimes having to teach people who are older than I am, yeah. they would still have a certain mentality that, you know, um, I'm older than you, so you yeah. have to respect me. But yeah. you know, the, the role is yeah. is different when you're teaching somebody something they don't know. So true. You know, so true, uh, yeah. navigating that could sometimes be a little tricky. Yeah, it now, could. when it comes to teaching younger people, yeah. you know, they're sometimes distracted. They're sometimes yes. um, they approach things in a different way. How do yeah. you meet that challenge? Well, for me, I approach music a lot kinesthetically, so using the body when I right. teach drumming. So for the kids, we do a lot of dancing, craft. You know, playing different shock shocks, different drums to keep them Dancing keep them interesting. With, with the music. Yeah, yeah wow. with the music. So I've, we have this dance circle. I will be in the middle with a drum, and they'll be just dancing around, moving to the timing, fast, slow, those kind of things. Right. So it kind of right. keeps them keeps their attention. Yeah. Right. And by the time they're done, they're probably so tired they yes. just go and rest yes. after that. <laughs> Some of them. Some of them just want to go. Keep yeah, going. I, I don't even remember what, what is like having that much energy, right? Yeah. Yeah. For real. I'm like, give me some of your energy. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, 
So tell us about Axio Nation and you know what you do now. You know, it's an all female yes. band. So it's an all female gospel band. Um, Axia means worth. So the band we promote a nation of worth, right? For women, it's an all female band, but I mean worth on the whole. But right. we focus a lot where women is concerned. Um, and I am the drummer for the band. We do a lot of we do gospel music, but we also do other styles of gospel. So you know right. when people hear gospel, they think they just gospel, think it's yeah. slow. So we do like, like soca right. gospel, yeah. reggae gospel, all of those, all of those different that's styles. That's yeah. wonderful. And you know how do you um, translate that through the drum drums um, with the various genres of music? You know, um, for when it comes to when it comes to music and, and the genre, you know the tempo and the pace and, yeah. and stuff would would change. How do you yeah you know, translate that switch with the drums? Um, well, it, I guess from learning, listening to music and all of that, looking at other drummers, it just comes by, yeah, and just doing research and listening and learning. It comes to you naturally after a while. Right, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Now, um, what would you say is your next step? What's the next big thing you want to do? Um, the next big thing definitely would be, um, I usually have a summer program that happens, but with COVID, we right. know how things, I couldn't have had it last year, so yeah. that'll be our next um, venture during um, the summer. Any, yes. any plans to do something virtually? Yes, it may, may be virtually, as well as we'll be doing some, um, we'll have this one day workshop that's happening in the Easter. Right. Yes, it's a developmental day for musicians, all work, all the young, yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a day of development, which will happen during Easter time. Yeah. It's too bad you don't have a drum set here, so you yes. can have taught us something <laughs> yes, on this spot. Time, you know, next, time. next time, next yes, time. Next time, for sure, for sure. <laughs> That's something to look yeah. forward to. And uh, if people wanted to get into contact with you um, when it comes to the band itself or yeah. for your academy, how can they do so? So they can find me on Instagram, the Academy's page, SD, SGSD Academy or on Facebook at Sui Genera Sound Drumming Academy, or they can call 381-4806. Yes. Wonderful. And uh, any parting words you want to give to the young female musician who, is n who are now cutting their teeth in the industry? I will just tell them, go for it. Don't study what anybody has to say. Just right. go for it. <laughs> go at it. Yeah. Before we go, if, if there was one challenge that you know, has stuck with you, that you know, it's always something that you that you go back to and you think about, but you, that you have overcome it. Yeah. What would that be? Um, for me, I would say it's confidence, being, being proud that you can do this, and just go at it confidently. It's something I'm still working at, but being confident. Despite your gender, despite the instrument, be confident, yeah. Wonderful. Well, with that one, we're going to wrap this up. I want to yes. thank you so much, Kiwana. Thank you for having me. For joining us this morning. Yes. Congratulations on all your work so yes, far. Yes, thank you. Uh, good work with the band as well. Yes. And uh, we look forward to so much more. And next time you come back, bring the drums Yes, up. I will. <laughs> I will. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. We're going to take a short yes. break and come back with much more here on the Now Morning Show. I've been chatting with Kiwana Mahabir, who is the owner of CU Genes Generis Sound and uh, also the owner of an academy and you can check out on social media as well as the number that you call out earlier. You can always check back in the video to get that information, all right? So we're going to take a short break and come back with much more here on the new Now Morning Show.